Hi guys, welcome back to 3D Printing Doctor YouTube channel. I'm Liana and I'm back to do another unboxing video. Today we have the BQB1 SE Plus 3D printer and let's get to it. Okay, let's go ahead and open this here. Looks like we have a user manual here at the top. You can look at that later. Let's start from the top and work our way down. So over here, it looks like we just have some PLA that they gave us. Not a whole lot, but um, I guess they gave us some. That's nice. And just some cords and some USB cables and then a pack of tools. You can look inside and see a few of the tools that we have. Um, all right. All right, and this is just all the tools that they gave us. Just some cutters and some zip ties, some wrenches and such. Um, so that's great. Let's move on. Next, we have this here. Uh, looks like I'll have to take this out. Thank you. And just open here. Here we have our heated bed surface. It has the ultra base coating, just like the AnyCupid printers, if you remember that. So this kind of ultra base coating that we have here um, is really good at protecting your object that you're printing because it really helps it stick and adhere to the base. All right, so we had our nice peeling ASMR and underneath we have this beautiful printing bed. So as we see, this is a glass bed. It is not flexible at all. There it is in the back and they have their nice BQ logo on the bottom. Okay, so here we have the structural part of the gantry. We have our x-axis and z-axis here. Let's take this out. Looks like it's already all put together for us. Okay, so it looks like we have aluminum parts and nice anodized black finish here. Um, we can go ahead and turn it around and see the other side. Let's see. Now we have it here on the back. First thing I noticed is that we only have one z-axis lead screw. There could be two, so this could create some balance issues up here. We'll have to see. And the next thing I notice is this filament detection sensor we mm -hmm. see right here. That's great that we have that. And we have this lever here, which at first I thought it was plastic, but it looks like it's actually metal, which is great because it will last long and it's super sturdy. Now we're looking at this next layer. We'll look at these little things first. Looks like they just gave us a bag of spare screws. A um, bunch of different sizes, so that's great. Um, next, it looks like we have some plastic covers um, that will go on those aluminum sides that we previously saw. Put those here, and they have their logo on that as well. Uh, looks like they gave us a little rubber duck. Oh, it looks like it quacks. That's very cute. And lastly, we have these clamps that will eventually help us clamp this bed to the previous heating bed that we saw before. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. We'll move to this section here. It looks like we have our power cable and, oh, just a nice scraper here. And we have, oh, I think these two parts will be the filament holder. I'll have to put that together. So looking at our filament holder, um, this is not our favorite type of filament holder because it tends to keep the filaments unbalanced, which is not great. All right, let's get rid of these. All right, last, let's take out what looks like our extruder. Yep, we have our extruder here with our logo. It seems like everything is pretty compact, as we see here. Um, looking here, we have our 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and we have this nice uh, Bowden tubing here. And I'm also seeing that this has a single-sided cooling duct right here. And then we see our screw heads here to help us easily attach this to the printer. Okay, now it's time to remove the rest of the printer from the box. Looks like they gave us a little Plastic thing, not sure what that's for. To make it easier, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these extra foam here. All right, let's take this out. Yeah, here we go, here. And, uh-oh, light down. Some technical difficulties here. Okay, we're back after some technical difficulties. Let's get back to this 3D printer. Okay, we'll start from the front here. Let's peel this screen protector off. Oh, it's pretty tight in there. Um, seeing that we have these knobs, I'm assuming that it's not a touch screen, but we'll check that out later. We pull this back here, we see the Y-axis, and we have this knob here that adjusts for the Y-axis tension. So one thing I noticed with this bed is that if we look underneath here, there are no knobs that help us level the bed which leads me to think that there must be some kind of bed leveling uh, sensor, which I didn't see before, but we'll have to check that out in our next video. If we look over here, we see this asymmetric nut right here, which will help us um, if the bed starts shaking, we can just tighten or loosen this to help with the shaking. Okay, let's take a look at the right side of the printer. I'll move it here. All right, so looking here on the side, 
we have our USB connection that will connect to the computer so we can control this from the computer. And then we have our SD card reader right here. And then it looks like we also have a USB disc so we can read things directly off a USB disc. Moving along, we have the fan and we have some connection points that were connected to the gantry that we unboxed earlier. And then we have just a bunch of cables right here. All right, now let's turn to the back. And here we go. All right, on the back we have our switch fuse here and our power cord connection right there. One other thing that we notice is the voltage regulator, which is inside here if you look through here. We see that right now it is set to around 110, which is good for the US. However, one thing to note is that if you're in Europe, you're gonna wanna switch this so it's not pointed to the 110, but rather pointed to the 200 side. And since it's not super accessible, you'll probably have to unscrew this and open up the box to adjust that. Speaking of this metal box, um, one thing to point out is that all the fans and drivers and everything are inside of this box, which is gonna make it really practical for us to move it but one thing that could bring up is potential noise issue where it will make a lot of noise and sound when we run the printer. Okay thanks so much for watching this video we have our entire printer the BQ B1 SE Plus laid out in front of us here. Uh, I hope you really liked this video if you liked it don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button down below it's free and it's just one click of a button so go do it. Um, if as you can see the printer doesn't have too many parts, but we will be doing a step-by-step -step assembly video um, in a couple of weeks, so be on the lookout for that. We'll take you from scratch with all these parts laid out to putting it together to even starting with your very first print. By the way, we just hit 5K on YouTube, so thank you guys so much for that. We are growing as a 3D Printing Doctor family. Last but not least, don't forget to check out our awesome Instagram account at 3D Printing Doctor and our TikTok account. All of those links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.